My name is Troy Halverson. I'm the VP of Articat. And I'm, today I'm riding a 2022 Hardcore 8154. You know, I started off in 97 with Articat and I was a product engineer, so I got to spend a lot of time on the product and kind of moved through. The, the years did help develop a race sled, so I got to spend time on the race race track, which was pretty cool. And then I uh, took over the performance team, so I was pretty much dominant uh, trail sleds and, and corner, you know, doing trails, just trail riding. But every year I'd kind of spend more time out here out west and being able to ride the mountain sleds. So um, after a while I got the opportunity to lead the mountain team and, and it was, uh, it was the, probably one of the most rewarding experiences I ever had. Because in the mountains, on the mountain side, you, any change you make, you can find little incremental changes and it makes huge differences out on the, in the back country. And it kind of spoiled me because it, it wasn't quite as much fun riding back home in Minnesota as it was out in Island Park in, in West Yellowstone. So, um, but I really enjoyed working on the mountain sled and then got to spend a little time as a product manager for snowmobiles and, and then led the engineering team for, for a couple of years. So then I got to dabble in everything. And then uh, the last two and a half years, I was actually uh, the director of operations. So I was helping build all the product now. So it's we were running the factory, building sleds and off-road, so that was a cool experience. But now with this role I'm currently in as the VP of Articat, I get to get back more to my roots and, and really um, get on the product end of things and, and be able to come out here and enjoy this beautiful weather and, and, uh, and ride all the cool product and uh, enjoy, the, enjoy the nature and the snow out here. So um, kind of made a full circle back to the, more of the product side of things. So pretty excited about that but it does cut down a long long answer to a short question it does cut down on my time riding time a little bit but we're, we're busy developing products so we would run in late into into june sometimes in out west just to get the final touches off future products before we lose all the snow so you know you'd put in over a thousand miles pretty easy with all the other work you got to do so I, i'm guessing i probably get in probably a quarter of that but or when I come out to do stuff like this I get a lot more time but otherwise it's it's try to try to see the big picture of things and help um, find areas that we can improve in at Articat and and uh, keep our dealer channel strong and our customers happy and our and our in our company progressing so it is it is good to be able to do that but in a sense you know you want to get in there and work on it because because that's how you really know the product is you get your hands dirty and you're, you, you experience what the customers experience and you want to, you know, that Roger Skyme developed that in all of us is that you want to always make stuff better. So you can't, you know, you, you can direct people and we try to do that, but there's nothing like getting your hands dirty and smelling that, smelling the, the, the oil and the gas and, you know, go back to where before I was, predominantly trail sleds and I just got to spend a lot of time over in Scandinavia and it was hard hitting the bumps hard and and just you know a lot of just trail riding not much off trail and then slowly the market started changing over there and and uh, we would sell mountain sleds over there but they would always want to put a long heat exchanger on it and and um, and do different things that were different from from the mountain sleds that we had originally sent over there and um, so we're trying to say, well, it's the mountain market. This is what the mountain guys want. They short heat exchanger. They want to carry a lot of snow. But the guys over in Scandinavia, um, you know, they don't groom any of the trails. They get really rough and bumpy. And the, the terrain is very technical, with a lot of logs and rocks. And um, so they're, they're, they're hardcore riders over there. So we had a mountain cat, and they, they would like us to do different things to it to adapt to their riding. And they wanted... So in turn, we called it a hardcore. It's a hardcore mountain sled. So hence the name hardcore. Um, so we do things like a little, little aggress more aggressive, wider running board for, for stand up and jumping and stuff like that. And, and um, some bracing in different spots. Um, still kept the, the, the heart of a mountain sled with the short heat exchanger, the narrowed front end, and um, maybe a little more uh, aggressive shock package. But... So that, that's how the hardcore name grew over in Scandinavia, and it just kind of spread over this way to where now we have a mountain cat, and then we have a hardcore. The mountain cat with the floats, um, QS3 floats and that, it's, it's a, 
you know, it's more for the, the deep powder and how guys ride, ride in, the, in the Rocky Mountains and up in British Columbia. Um, whereas over in Scandinavia now it's, it's, it's tight winding through the trees and just jumping over some nasty stuff they can find. So, but we have a lot of people that like this model over here as well. So we basically offer both of them and, and uh, they can choose however their riding style is and pick the best, best option for them.